Ah, I, it's so hot. I'm, I'm dying in here. Oh, well, I guess I just gotta go to everyone's costumes and put on their long sleeve shirts with their full uniform. <laughs> Make everyone even more uncomfortable. I'm sick of this heat already. Talking about it just makes me feel even hotter. The Academy should at least install an orbital air conditioner. At least then it'd be a little easier to cope. An orbital air conditioner? What is that? Well, it's this device that blows out cool air to help regulate a room's temperature. Um, maybe it'd help if you think of it as the opposite of a stove. Wow, that's <laughs> that's some kind of wizardry. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, so air conditioners are not commonplace in this. Uh, at least we found one piece of technology that really doesn't match up so closely with the real world, even the horrible connections. I've heard of them, but aren't they supposed to be prohibitively expensive? All the most modern buildings seem to be able to afford them. Do you have one in your house? Well, there's one in the Reinford Company corporate headquarters, yeah. It'd be nice if my mother could spare one, you know, for the academy she sits on the board of directors for. <laughs> Seems like a, a little bit much to hope for. Uh... This is a uh, military academy, so I doubt we can expect to be indulged quite that much. Still, a machine to help us cool in the summer? Whoever first invented that should get a medal. I'll admit the summer heat here is more difficult to cope with than in the Grom. But as long as I think of it as another part of my training, it doesn't bother me all that much at all. Well, Lauren, do you, Laura? I got, I, I'm, I'm back to doing that apparently. Okay, so um. Laura, do, I mean, do you just think of everything as part of your training? Literally everything? Like, oh, dealing with the... Uh, I don't know. I, I suppose she hasn't had much to her actual personality and things that she does that couldn't be construed in that in some way, but still. Raya Hod gets similar summer heat waves, but there's usually a breeze blowing in from the canyon at this time of year. Uh, this makes summers a bit easier to manage. My hometown's up in the mountains, so it's pretty cool even around this time of year. Actually, now that you mention it, I would have thought you three would uh, go back home for the summer, being nobles and all. Yeah, you were giving permission, uh, you were given permission, weren't you? Huh, well, if everyone else is going home, I would have considered it. But in the end, I decided against it. I mean, uh, it wasn't all that long ago I got to see Elise. Maybe next year. I came here to train. So I feel like I've made significant progress. I have no intention of returning home. Hmm. Some of you saw my father's mansion. Do you think I'm going to, um, I'll go back to a place like that willingly? I'd much rather stay here and take my chance with the heat stroke. <laughs> what? Uh, whatever. You're really that uncomfortable at home, huh? Still, hot as it is, there's a lot going on right now. I doubt all the people headed to the conference at the end of the month have much time to worry about the heat. Uh, you make a good point. You're talking about the West Samaria Trade Conference, right? Uh, that's the one. I've never been in um, there's never been an international conference on that scale before. At least, not in modern times. So are these all the different... Are these all the different, um, country emblems and stuff? Hmm. Um, uh, I'm guessing the middle one's Crossbell. That just seems obvious. I'm guessing the top left is Erebonia, considering the horse thing. I seem to remember that the horse seems to be a very Erebonian symbol. Maya Dieta Groys, who happens to be the International Bank of Crossbell uh, CEO, was the one who first proposed it. I've heard that Prince Oliver will be attending on behalf of His Majesty the Emperor, and Chancellor Osborne is supposed to be attending too. crazy to think that both of them just, uh, we met both of them just a few weeks ago. The Chancellor in particular was a pretty intimidating figure. And it seems like a big scary monster. 
I've heard that he served in the Imperial Army before becoming a politician. The, uh, then 11 years ago, His Majesty entrusted him with the position of Chancellor. Supposedly, a full 70% of the Imperial Army is under his jurisdiction. Hmm. Calling him a dictator, though. I know he has. He certainly seems to have the power to do a coup and just overtake the Emperor if he really wanted to. Then again, maybe he forced himself into the position of Chancellor as is because of his control over the military. I don't know. He's probably doing something bad that's causing people like the um, terrorists to hate him so very much. Uh, his real fame comes from establishing most of the nation's railway network centered in the capital. Although he's responsible for annexing several smaller countries uh, and independent states around Erebonia. I believe this all took place without any bloodshed though, at least as far as I'm aware. Hmm. I wouldn't put too much stock into what he's selling. Military spending in this country has increased exponentially since he took it, uh, up his position as Chancellor. It's only possible thanks to the tax revenue he gleans from people of Heimdall and those annexed nations. Well... He's the one who ordered the construction of those two railway guns that uh, they got pointed at Crossbell too. At one point, Erebonia was on the verge of a full-scale war with Calvert because of those things. Oh yeah, I heard about that it was actually a uh, liberal that was propo uh, proposed. I heard that it was actually liberal that proposed a way to avoid an armed conflict. They end up signing the Non-Aggression Pact, right? Yep. Though I'm, uh, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's still quite a bit of tension between the two countries. They didn't sign a non-tension pact. I wouldn't be surprised if the real issue, uh, if the issue reared its head again during the trade conference. Chancellor Osborne's been a really popular figure in the capital, though. Popular enough that he seems to have a group of terrorists after him. Yeah, he does seem to be uh, the Imperial Liberation Front's main target, doesn't he? You know, the hammer of judgment that shall top all the dictator and all that. Indeed, they seem to harbor deep-seated grudge against him. The anger seemed a bit unusual in its intensity, didn't it? He does seem like the type who'd make a lot of enemies, especially with a face like that. I'd rather not speak ill of my father's close ally, but... No one likes him, basically. Who would have thought? Come to think of it, isn't the instructor awfully late? You think she went home for... You think she went home for summer? She might have. It's well past time for homeroom to start. True. Should have started about ten minutes ago, actually. Man, we've been talking for a while. Ah, oh, I swear, that woman. She better not be sleeping off an, uh, another hangover back at the dormitory. Ah, uh, what a pastor. I wish I could say that there's no way our upstanding instructor would do that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Excuse me. I'll have you know I did no such thing. Today. Sure you did. Sure you did. Okay, what's your excuse? What's your excuse? Do you even have one? Instructor? Good morning, Instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. We'll see about that. I'll be the judge of that. And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today. No. No, 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 no. What? A transfer student at this time of year? S seriously? All right. Come on in. Righto. No. Did he get help back? That was clearly Crow's... No, okay, no. He's introducing someone. He's not the new classmate. No, 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 no. They would not do this to me. They wouldn't do this to me. No, they wouldn't do this to me. Crow? No, they wouldn't do this to me. But, but, isn't he a second year student? I'm Crow Armbrust. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of class seven. No, 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 bullshit. There's no fucking way. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. No. What? No. What? I mean, how? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. No. F no, no. 
No, then what? If they're actually gonna fucking do this, they better fucking explain themselves. I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. Are you fucking... Uh, seriously? Seriously? Sarah, you're going along... No. Really? Then he came crying to me in a panic, like, Oh, help me, Instructor Sarah. They're not gonna let me graduate. I can actually believe that. So, as a special exception... He's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. Uh, you can't be serious. I don't... I, I still don't think they are. I don't know. I, I don't... That's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Oh, you're fucking... <laughs> you know, I, I like you, Crow. <laughs> but I don't respect you, Crow. <laughs> anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now... No need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Wait, is there someone else too? We only have one more desk. Are they still joking about Crow? None that. Because if they're not joking, if they actually are joking, then they've taken this joke far enough that it actually convinced me. Huh? Are you serious? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. Fucking hell, fuck you, both, both of you. God damn it. All right, come on in and say hello. <sighs> Yeah, that's that's who I figured. That's who I figured it would be. Ah. What do you not want to come in? Oh, no, no, I forget your name, but clearly you were going to. I mean, you're like the you happened to become our party member at some point. You had an Arcus. I mean, if we are gonna have a new class member who wasn't one of the second years for some ridiculous reason, which <laughs> that would have been pretty funny if they. Ah. Uh, I still don't know fucking why. Why she would be, um, a class member of ours. Or what the fuck her background is, but. But she was about our only choice. What? What? You must be joking. Hey, aren't you. You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Yuppers! Long time no see, guys! Okay... What's your name again? But I see a couple of you I don't know, so guess I better introduce myself! Milliam. Okay, I'll give you a chance. We only had that one relatively brief knowing of each other, and I didn't like you too much at the time, but I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. <laughs> and this here is Eric Gitlam, but we'll just call him Lammy for short. What the hell is that? And how do you conjure it out of nowhere? Holy crap! It's that thing we saw at Ark's Fort. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's going to get chewed out for it. Boo! Fine. <laughs> anyway. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, 
Ha 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 is right. Tell me, tell me you're kidding, please. I really wish I could. Oh, so this is forced on you too. She is a member of what was it, Chancellor Osborne's little um, what you call? Oh, that's what he was talking about. That's what he was talking about at the end of the last field study. Oh, uh, that his surprise or whatever the hell it was that he called it that would be ready in three to four weeks or something. Clearly her. Um. And she's part of his, I don't even, there's so many organizations, his, like, uh, group of youth, really strong people that he sends out that included her and the other guy who came out to help negotiate the peace in the Highlands. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months. So is this his method of keeping someone to actually, or try to influence the class, or is this his method of just trying to keep an eye on the class to see what's happening just in case we're going up against him and they're raising us to be good little rebel soldiers <laughs> wait no are you wait is the crow thing serious is the crow thing still serious no don't tell me it's still oh my god I don't know. Uh, uh, three days went by, and I just sat in my room, staring at the ceiling, unsure of what to think of any of this. At first, no one was sure what to make of Crow Armbers and Intelligence Division, uh, Intelligence Division Agent Milliam Orion's sudden transfer. So he fucking is in the class. Oh my goodness. They were serious. I thought they were joking. And into class seven, but within a matter of days, it almost felt like they'd been there all along. I'm sure, I'm sure none of you need to be reminded that it was none other than Emperor Draco's end of the War of the Lions. But do you know that historical records tell us that he had amazingly few soldiers under his command? Initially, his allies numbered only a few confidants and several warriors from Nord. While supporters rallied to him in each region, his ranks still couldn't hope to compare to the other princes' armies. Nonetheless, they continued to advance, liberating region after region. After half a year of bloody battles, Prince Draco's met perhaps his most well-known supporter. Million, right? Did Emma get forced to move chairs? Because the open one was the far one. Oh, wow. Okay, and Crow's just fucking sleeping back there. What do you happen to know the historical figure who I'm referring to? Sure you do. Leanne Sandlot. Also known as Lance Maiden. Oh, right, you are. Well done. Sandlot was the daughter of the Count who ruled over a remote region, and accounts tell us she showed a great martial skill at a very young age. In particular, her skill with the lands was unparalleled. No record exists of her being best in combat. The Lance Maiden is also a group of mighty warriors under her command, who fought alongside her in battle. Perhaps you'd like to illuminate us as the name of this famous band, Reen? Ooh, uh, no. I don't want to. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I forget having to know things as a... Ah, the group of mighty warriors left by the Lance Maiden. That's, the uh, um... Eisenritter? Stahlritter? Grawlsritter? I'm guessing not Grawlsritter, because that's, uh... These two sound like they could be right. They both sound very German, because... I don't think Grawlsritter sounds all that German. Because I've heard Stahl and Eisen in both of them. Eisen seems... I don't know, almost too... I don't know what either of those mean in German, so... It's just more a guess over which one of them sounds more likely for them to have chosen. So I'm gonna go stall Ritter. Wait, I don't think that. No oh, crap! I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure about the second half. I'm pretty sure they were called Eisenritter. Eisenritter, also known as Iron Knights. The abandoned knights said to be able to charge across the battlefield like lightning, cutting down all in their path. Ah, 50/50 guess, and I got it wrong. Correct. You've done your homework. No, I haven't. That's a great thing about me. The Wandering Prince met the Lance Maiden one day during a prolonged conflict in a remote region of the country. After recognizing each other as reliable and trustworthy, they pledged to fight together under a united banner. The Lance Maiden and her knights bolstering uh, his ranks, Draco's army swept through one region after another. In just under a year, he was able to defeat uh, the other princes and free the imperial capital Heimdall. As an interesting footnote, the castle, uh, the Eisenritter, Eisenritter used as their base of operations 250 years ago. Just so happens to be only a hop, skip, and jump away from Laura's home in Legram. 
Oh, is this the castle they were talking about that's like along the lake? Indeed, it's known as Lohengrin Castle. It's a beautiful old building situated on the shore of Lake Ebel, to the waste of Lagram. To the wait, did I say waste? I meant west. Oh, you've mentioned her, uh, that before. Does anyone live there now? No, due to the dangerous terrain there, no one goes near it. These days, it exists simply as a relic of a bygone age. The Hallseed family is responsible for the care and maintenance of the castle, though really only minimal work is done. Speaking of the, um, speaking of the Arseed house, wasn't one of your ancestors, um, the Eisenritter second command? Indeed, the Lance Maid is most trusted assistant and confidant from what I understand. The Sandlot family line ended with the death of the Lance Maiden. And it's partially because of that the Arseed family mourns her death every year. I see. Ooh, what a fantastic story. The Gram, huh? Never had a mission there, so I've never been able to go. Maybe I should stop by, uh, maybe I should stop by when I went back to Brayhard a while back. You think she'd at least, tr um, try to conceal the fact that she gets sent all over the country on secret missions? I know, she totally let it slip that she was doing something in Brayhard, too. Oh, I suppose it's better that, uh, than her being all distant and cagey with us. Okay, so tomorrow's a free day, which means that next Wednesday you, you have your usual practical exam and you better bring your A-game. Oh, and Milliam and Crow. A few must have instructional materials. You guys are going to need as part of class 7 finally showed up. I'll hand that stuff out to you once we're done here, so I want you to come with me to the faculty lounge. Radio. Is she British or something? I don't know. And what a drag. Alright, homeroom's out for the day. Flee, flee while you can. Marcus, will you do the honors? Yes, instructor. Alright, bow. Man, Crow's gonna fail this, isn't he? He's probably gonna fail second year stuff, too. Uh, so, what do you think? Well... I don't think we have to be on our guard around here, at least. Same. Though, I'd rather she kept that giant silver thing of hers hidden. I don't think she's a bad girl. I was taking a nap in the courtyard yesterday, and she came and fell asleep next to me. What's that have to do with whether or not she's trustworthy? Huh? Looks like they, uh, they look like a couple of kittens all curled up together. Huh, the personalities may be a pot, but they're both rather cat-like in their own ways. She can't be more than 12 or 13. She's practically a child. Yeah, you're right. She's so chipper all the time that it's hard to be really cold towards her. Hmm, I don't think I could bring myself to spurn her. She's got this natural something about her. But, uh, that as it may, her presence here reeks of blood and iron, if you take my meeting. Well, certainly does seem that way. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. It's hard to believe that such a girl could be an agent in intelligence, uh, intelligence division. But just going off what happened in Nord, there's not much that would make me doubt it now. Then there's that thing, Argit let Argit Lamb. Or, Lammy, that's always with her. She calls it Lammy, but aside from its name, we don't really know anything about it. Uh, it seems to be made from strange material with both metallic and ceramic properties. Hard, but pliable. Agreed. It doesn't look like anything you could make even with the most cutting-edge orbital technology. When I touched it, it felt really nice and cold. Wow, so you actually touched it? It hasn't escaped my notice that it seems strikingly similar, uh, similar to the combat shows we fight in the practical exams. I think it's safe to assume that they share some kind of common origin. Yeah. The instructor said that she was forced to accept it, though in a sense, Milliam was forced on us too. Mm, you're welcome to think what you will, but I don't trust her. Either way, she's technically our classmate now, like it or not. Maybe a little early to tell whether we can trust her as a friend. But we should be able to figure out pretty quickly whether we can count on her as a member of Class 7. Uh, well, that's a logical way of breaking it down, at least. Ha, huh, well, you're right. 
still pretty early to make sweeping judgments. Knowing your background would be great, but what's really important is whether we can count on her in a fight. A great student in the military academy is probably the most important issue. I'll have to wait and see. Haha, <laughs> well, we're considering living in the, uh, considering we're living in the same dormitory, it'd be good if we all got along. Yeah, I wouldn't want her to think we are trying to make her feel unwelcome either. And then there's Crow. What's he like, Green? You seem like you get along with him pretty well. I don't know if I put it quite like that. If I had to say, I'd describe him as a freakiest gambling addict way too prone to anti up for every hand. Haha, <laughs> that's... Not a bad description. Um... Ah, I don't so us. So it's like the kind of miscreant one would better off, uh, be better off avoiding. Oh, you can count on him when the chips are down, though. He really helped me out last month when Elise went down to the old schoolhouse. He's good in a fight, and he's pretty handy with his Arcus, too. Hmm. Maybe we're worrying over nothing, then. Still, I'm not really sure how to connect with him, you know? Uh, well, at least they're separate dorms for the time being. We'll just have to go see, uh, see how things go. We don't honestly think he's gonna get, like, made a permanent member and moved into our dorm and everything, do we? Oh god, I hope not. I mean, I like him, but oh my goodness, that would be fucking pathetic. Ah, something's in here, Pinch and Jab Walk. Okay, okay. Hello, Reen Swazoff speaking. Oh, hi there, Reen. Alisa? Do you have a moment? Yeah, I suppose it's a. after class. No! Toa! Okay, I, I. I apparently just am not recognizing voices. Okay. Toa, well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? Yeah. Some say too, even. Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. Doesn't she have an Arcus? I understand if you need to give them to me so I can hand them out to everyone. But yeah. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? I. Yes, but I'll do it. Ah, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing, I'll come get it right away. Let me swing by the student council room then. That'd be great. Thanks. Ah, uh, sure doesn't waste any time. Student council room is the second floor. Is the I know that. Dude. Does the game think I forgot? Oh my goodness. Sure is quiet around the academy in Old Bazaar way. I'm so jealous. I wish the rest of us could go home for a month. I'd be able to beg my parents to take me shopping all the time. Okay, you probably shouldn't go home. Never mind. Hey, you two. I notice you have a very similar voice to Toa when out of context. Hers might be a... little higher pitch? Well, Class 7's a whole lot livelier these days, isn't it? Even putting Crow aside, I never... Would have expected some girl we met in Nord would become a classmate. Haha, <laughs> life is full of surprises. Feels like they've already become part of the fabric of our class, though. Definitely. I don't think we should have any trouble getting along with them. Well, for now, at least. Your teams uh, seem more like responsible adults than any of us, Instructor Sarah included. What do you th uh, you think you could look after, Milliam? Haha, <laughs> no problem. We're all classmates, after all. Helping each other out is what we do. Hmm... I'm sure we can get along. It's just a matter of the whole, you know, trusting. Trusting people. I, I don't, tr I mean, I suppose I technically trust Crow. I'm, I certainly don't trust Milliam. Uh, how about going to be our lead Vinus now, though? I'm on the hook for it. It's worried at first, but since he was so, uh, it was so out of the blue, but things are shaping up nicely now. No, I had my doubts at first, but now I feel like I made the right decision in choosing this academy. And one way I know for sure is whether I can help this performance happen without a hitch. Ah, that makes me glad to hear. I'll be cheering you on. Man, you are skilled, Elliot. Just going on playing all while talking. Oh, oh, you were supposed to be the lead vine? Oh, okay. Hurt your arm last month. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. Good luck, Elliot. With that, I will go do my own thing now. 
The painting has really been improving, guys. I mean, why have I hardly gotten any better? Ah, it's all thanks to you and Clara. You guided me along a path I never would have found my way to on my own. I couldn't be more thankful. Ah, oh, please. It all comes down to you working harder than anyone else. You know, Gaius, I don't mean to, like, rag on your painting, but... Um, let's just say right now I'm not a fan. Maybe add a little bit more detail? I'll come back later, see how far you've gotten. Ooh, that is actually pretty impressive, though. What is happening here? The Wind Orchestra will be holding a performance at the chapel in tom uh, town tomorrow. I'm handing out flyers in hopes that everyone will come along and see it. Please come along if you have the time to, Reen. Oh, sure. Oh, Reen, one sec. You know, I've got a real air of conf um, You've gotten a real air of confidence since you first showed up here at Thor's. Huh, really? I haven't really noticed much of a difference myself, but well, maybe it's because we all, of all the difficult opponents we've had to face over the course of the year. Yeah, I've heard you've been through a lot on those field studies or whatever. I've gotta uh, give this to someone, so I figured it might as well be you. Um, what? I'm charging, uh, I'm in charge of handing out one of the Lionheart medals this year, so yeah. It's the Medal of Valor, congrats. Wow, oh, thank you so much, it's... A real honor to be awarded something like this. Well, oh, keep up the good work, I guess. Crow and Angelica got it last year, and to be honest, I think you're on track to accomplish just as much as they did. Oh, crap! <laughs> Don't do that. I had I had such a good high going. Like, oh, I'm so proud of myself. I was like, why is this like a side quest? And so, I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off. But this is going to motivate me to work even harder from now on. Is he just like, you know what? I have a feeling he gave it to me because I was just the first person to come along. Is it good though? I'm curious. All is forgiven if it's actually good. Uh, strength 25, speed plus 5. Sounds good. Tw I mean, okay, so 25 strength, you add that, that's that's pretty good. I, I don't, I think, I don't have anything that gives anywhere near that much strength yet. Um, but it doesn't have a whole lot else other than that. The best ones I've seen are the ones that also help prevent uh, status effects. If you get a little bit of a stat boost along with preventing a bunch of status effects, those are the best. Easy. Oh, Milliam, hey, go pick up your student handbook. Don't make me do this. Uh, now that you have your uniform and equipment, you should be good to go. Thanks, Teach. Ah, good energy. I like it. Still have a hard time wrapping my mind around how someone, uh, how someone like you ended up in Iron Blood, though. The boss of yours is a really, uh, real mystery, man. Haha, <laughs> you're pretty mysterious yourself. Seems like your life was really interesting before you started teaching. Now, who could have told you that? She asked the girl from the Imperial Intelligence Division. Millian, let me give you a word of advice. His Majesty might have gotten you into this academy, but in my class, you're just another student. Just keep that in mind. Everything will be gravy, okay? Radio. What do regular student-teacher relationships look like again? Uh, I think I've forgotten. Oh, this will be interesting development over time. Ah, uh, tell us that you want to attend the student council room. Well, um, yes. I hope I'm not missing anything. Okay, just go in. The door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. 